Hello and welcome back to another episode of Harkis CGTV. We're going to continue our shirt reactions by having a look at Bally United. Now, due to COVID, we're not able to get a Bally United top from this season. So I thought, why not? Let's get a kit from last season. We'll have a look at that. So I already have the Bally United first kit, second kit and third kit. I'm a bit of a collector. So why not do the third kit? Because I like a black kit. I also wanted to do Bally United because of the unfortunate way that they went out of the AFC Cup this year in 2022. I think Bally United are far too big a team to be losing back-to-back -back matches and just a little bit upset for the Bally United fans. So this is my video back to the Bally United fans to hopefully cheer them up, to let them know that people all around the world are still looking at Bali, a beautiful island, great fans, great football team. Remember to wait till the end to see whether it gets a red card or a thumbs up. So let's have a look at the kit. Straight away, I'm looking at this black kit and I'm absolutely loving this. One of the things that I always say about many of the Southeast Asian kits is the amount of detail that goes into this kit. So first of all, I'm looking at the material. The material is beautiful, beautiful material um, because of the heat. So it's great because of the heat. I've worn this in the sun in Vietnam many times and it really does keep you cool. Um, maybe a little bit too old to be running around playing football myself, but you know, it's, it's, it's great. It's great for the sun. Um, the other thing that I would say as well is I love the pattern. I think you can see if I move it around there, you can see the pattern on this, on the top, how it kind of fades off towards the bottom and then the pattern com comes back in at the bottom again. And we have these bits on the side just to keep it cool. And um, for the more portly gentleman, it kind of stretches that bit at the side as well. So that's, that's very useful. Um, of course, the pattern is kind of goes across onto the back. I like the I like the strip here as well. Now we are going to do a video on badges, but what I do want to say about this is I love the Bally United badge. I love a badge that has that rubber feel to it as well. I know that um quite a few of the the club badges have this. Uh, rather than like this one, this is the the printed on badge. I like a badge that has that rubber feel to it that sits on top of the kit. Um, I really do like that. I'd also say the Bally United badge, we are going to do a video on badges. So I don't want to go too much into the into the detail of the badge, but I do like the Bally United badge with the, the pattern that sits behind it. I don't know if you can see this, but um, on the badge, this is actually a, a, a pattern, a material pattern that is, is uh, indigenous, is that the word? Indigenous to the region of Bali. So this is the black, the black and grey uh, checkered pattern, which I think is a brilliant detail to have there in the, the, uh, in the kit. Now, as you will have seen from my other video, you should have seen it. My other video, uh, the bat, the, the other video, the Wahonyulai kit came in a box. This one didn't come in a box. This one actually came from an amazing guy who I got into a conversation with him when I was in Bali and he, and I said to him, I wanted a Bali United top. And he said, which one? And I said, all three. Uh, he got on his motorbike and drove from one end of the island to the other to go to the stadium to get it. So thank you very much to him. Just wonderful. It, it shows to me the friendly nature of the people of Bali. So again, what a wonderful guy. Um, going back to the, to the kit. So kind of the negatives. The negatives that I have of this kit aren't really the fault of Bali. Uh, and it's just really the league as a whole. And as you can see, it's really the amount of sponsors that have to go onto the kit. I think the overall brilliance and excellence of the design is somewhat lost because of the amount of sponsors that have to go onto this. Um, maybe one day we'll do a video on sponsors on football kits because the rules differ from league to league as to how many sponsors you can have. So. As you can see, there are sponsors all over it and it begins to look more like a NASCAR racer than an actual than an actual football top. But yeah, all the same, one of my favorite tops, an absolutely brilliant top. I do really, really love this top. And um, 
and I don't want any PS uh, Slemon fans messaging me. I'm trying to get a PSS Slemon top, and I will be getting one, and a Persebaya Surabaya one, and a Persebaya J Jakarta. So I will be doing all of those reviews, but I grabbed this one out of the cupboard, as I said, for Bali last night going out of the AFC Cup. So, yeah, this one, what are we giving this one? What? So, is it the red card or a thumbs up? Definitely, I'm giving this one a thumbs up. This is one of my favorite kits. I love this one. I love this one from Bally United. Just another superb kit. So there we have it, our second shirt review. That one was Bally United, the third kit. Not the first, not the second, but the third. And it got a thumbs up. So let us know down below in the comments which shirt you think we should do next. Believe me, I have like nearly 200 shirts and I keep buying more all the time. If you have links as well for people selling shirts, put that down below in the links. Let people know so we can get more shirts going around the world. And yeah, let's promote Southeast Asian football to the rest of the world. That's what Harka CGTV is all about. Thanks again for watching. Remember, like, subscribe down below. Let your friends know it's Harka CGTV and we are done for another video.